This week, we finally bought some professional filmmaking equipment. Yes. What's up guys, my name is Alex Caves and I'm super pumped to announce that we started to buy some proper equipment for Studio Caves. And today I wanted to emphasize the importance of having the right tools for the right job. And with any high skilled profession, the general rule of thumb when it comes to tools and equipment is you get what you pay for. So when you are in need of new equipment, you have to make an educated decision whether to buy expensive tools or be able to get away with buying cheap ones. This goes for shop tools, and as I found out recently, with video production equipment. I have been trying to go as cheap as possible in acquiring equipment thus far since the world of DSLRs and cinematography is all very new to me, but as we discovered last week, going cheap with camera gear was not going to be an option if we wanted to take Studio Caves to the next level. So this week, we started making those investments into getting proper professional equipment. The most common advice that kept coming up from experts through my research were to invest in a nice audio system or accessories before you invest in a nice camera. For the same reason being, people are more forgiving to poor quality video if it has great audio and dynamic shots and not so much in reverse. So this week, that's what we focused on and bought ourselves a new shotgun mic, a Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, one of the most recommended shotgun mic amongst the YouTube crowd, a very nice Zomi 72 inch aluminum tripod, way better than the one I got now. And lastly, I traded my old GoPro for $100 off the brand new GoPro Hero 7 Black. Super excited about that one, I can't wait. Still on the list is a nice motorized slider since I'm going to be filming myself the majority of the time. And the brand that I'm really leaning towards is called uh, Edelkrone. They make really unique, innovative, and practical design with their sliders. But they're a little out of my price range at the moment, so I'm, I need to give it a little more time to decide whether this is something I should get soon or later. Yeah. In other news, I started playing with Instagram stories and applied the uh, filming techniques and simple camera tricks that I learned from watching Peter McKinnon. Uh, on YouTube and it's been a lot of fun. I am doing these stories every day to give you a live look into my dedicated block of 2 to 6 p.m. every single day for Studio Caves as a way to show you what's happening as it is happening. But I also do it to keep me accountable to actually put in the work during that block of time. I'm having a lot of fun making them so find me on Insta and check me out and while you're at it follow me and say hi. Well, that's it for me, guys. We are very close to going back into creating content and the topic of design, the design process, and the design mindset. So get excited about that, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.